today uh, we'll discuss one more C++ program uh, to show how initialization of an object using default constructor. To in order to do so, first we'll begin uh, with a new file. Over here, I'll be including uh, an header file called as iostream.h. And after that, I'll be including uh, one more header file called as iomanif.h. And then I'll begin with a class uh, x. And within this, I'll close this class. Uh, within this, I do have two access specifiers that is private and then public. So within this private part, I'll be declaring the two data members that is a and b. And over here, I'll be writing a constructor. So the constructor is x. Uh, and here we don't have any uh, arguments over there. So over here, what we do is we initialize the data members a is equal to 10 and then b is equal to uh, some other value called as 20. And uh, you can observe over here that this the special member function that is x is the same it has the same uh, name as the class name that's why it is called as a constructor and here constructors are declared to initialize uh, an object and i do have uh, one more member function called as uh, display uh, within which i will display the value of a and b so here i'll say c of a and after that i will be using the set width of pi and after that I'll display b and I'll introduce an header line. And the set width uh, of pi is defined in uh, it's defined in iomanif.h. That's why we have included iomanif.h in the beginning. So now what we'll do is we'll start with this void main and within this I'll declare an object. So in the declaration syntax is class name followed by the object name 1 or the object name 2 that is obj2 here I will be calling obj1 dot display as well as again I will use the second object that is obj2 dot display so when I display these things and uh, I will call those data members a and b with respect to two different objects, so that is of obj1 and obj2. So now again I will be using the get ch and here I have to include one more header file. Over here I will say hash include uh, konya.h and after that I will uh, save this particular file called as uh, default. So now I will press f9 in order to check out whether any error is there or not so we don't have any errors so therefore I'll say control F9 when I say control F9 you can see that the first uh, 1020 is, is with respect to uh, the object name uh, obj1 and uh, the second one is with respect to obj2 and here let me put uh, one more uh, function called as a clear screen uh, only to see the output of uh, this particular function. Now you can see that the value of a is uh, 10 and the value of b is 20. And the first uh, row is with respect to obj1 and the second row is with respect to obj2. That is the second object. This is all. What you will do is you will uh, write a C++ program uh, to initialize an object using the default constructor. Thank you.